Indonesian President Joko Widodo says that he wants innovative ministers in his cabinet for his second term to help push forward his reform agenda. The Indonesian leader has pledged to push his country into the top five global economies by the year 2045. Now, he was expected to announce new cabinet, his new cabinet in his lineup today, but that seems to have been delayed to later this week. Several potential candidates, they visited the palace today, and among them were Nadim Makarim. He was former CEO and co-founder of ride-hailing firm Gojek. The 35-year-old has said that he has stepped down from his company after being invited to join the president's cabinet. Local media have linked him to a possible post in perhaps the new digital economy ministry or even in education. Now for more, Chani Vatvani joins us and she is live for us in Jakarta. Chani, we understand that Mr. Prabowo's, uh, Mr. Widodo's rival, his bitter rival in that election, uh, Prabowo Subianto, he was seen entering the presidential palace this evening. That's right, Don. Mr. Widodo's challenger and bitter rival for the last two presidential elections, Prabowo Subianto, was seen entering the palace. Uh, he is chairman of the Garindra Party, and he was seen at the palace together with deputy chairman of Garindra Party, Eddie Prabowo. Uh, both men wore white shirts, uh, something that appeared to be a uniform uh, worn by the potential members of the upcoming cabinet, who had also visited the palace and met with President Widodo today. Uh, now, Mr. Subianto confirmed with the journalists that he did indeed meet with the president and that he received an invitation to do so on Sunday night. Uh, he also said that together with Edi Prabowo, the two men were asked to strengthen the cabinet, although he did not reveal their portfolios. Now, he said he had already previously conveyed their decision on behalf of Garindra Party that, if asked, they would be ready to help. And he said today that they were asked officially and they are willing to help. Uh, if Mr. Subianto Subianto does make it to Mr. Widodo's cabinet, it appears that they would have set aside their differences uh, and evidently have come to some sort of agreement. Now, rumors say Mr. Subianto, a former general, could become Minister for Defense. Mm, that would be, uh, I mean, it's fascinating uh, to hear the possibilities here on this one. And, and when we look at Jokowi's reform agenda, it's a very ambitious one. He says he wants innovative, tech-savvy people to be in his cabinet as well. And we're hearing that Nadim, Mr. Nadim, uh, you know, is from, formerly now from Gojek. He might even be offered a post. Well, we are certainly expecting to see Mr. Nadim in the cabinet lineup. Uh, Mr. Nadim, who is the, who is 35 years old, he's just 35 years old, he could just be Indonesia's youngest minister. Uh, now, Mr. Nadim earlier today spoke to reporters saying he had been offered a position in the upcoming cabinet. He was ready to accept it, but its details were for President Widodo to reveal. Uh, the Gojek co-founder and CEO, uh, former CEO, I should say, has also, as I said, he's resigned. Uh, he's relinquished his position, power, and authority in the company. Now, there is speculation, as you rightly pointed out as well that Mr. Nadim will be taking up a minister for digital and creative economy position. Uh, we're also expecting to see other tech-savvy faces in the upcoming lineup. Uh, Vishnu Tama, who is president commissioner of Net Media Tama Television, is one of them. The media entrepreneur is most popularly known in recent times as the man who designed President Widodo's now iconic Asian Games appearance. Uh, rumors are that he could take up the minister for tourism role uh, to sort of put his creativity to that to that side of, uh, of the country and sort of develop it, given that boosting tourism and developing the tourism sector is going to be something that the administration is going to focus on as well. Now, there's also Eric Tohir, a businessman, founder and chairman of the Mahaka Group, who is rumored to be taking up the Minister for State-Owned Enterprises position. Uh, Mr. Tohir uh, is a billionaire media and entertainment uh, mogul who, organized, who also organized the Asian Games. And he also has a stake in football club in Terminal among others. Uh, we're, I also want to tell you about some of the old faces that we are expecting to see. Mahfoud MD, uh, who was a front runner as Mr. Widodo's vice president candidate before current VP Maruf Amin was picked, uh, is a former constitutional court chief justice who is currently rumored to become the Minister for Justice and Human Rights. And uh, we also have Erlanga Hartato, 
current industry minister who, according to speculation, could be the coordinating minister for economic affairs. Now, all of these men met with President Joko Widodo at the palace earlier today, and all of them in what appeared to be uniformed white shirts. So remember, this is all speculation. None of these positions have officially been announced yet. Uh, but we will certainly be keeping a very close eye on the developments. All right, Chani, thank you very much for keeping us on the edge of our seats with that one. It'll be interesting to see who, the, who will be in the lineup. Chani Vatmani, the Jakarta.